I'm Nate Wyman. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made the ultimate workbench. I started by drawing the bench in SketchUp. Once I liked the design, I cut all the angle steel to size. I then took quarter inch cold rolled steel and made two by three plates. I marked these for machining and punched them for drilling. I decided to index them with letter punches for their corresponding legs. It's impossible to get them perfect when you machine by hand. Then finally I tapped them. I machined most of the pieces before I started welding. They are just easier to manage and clamp in vices before being welded. I had two holes that needed to be countersunk for two of the bolts. I needed these ones flush because they would eventually be on the face of the bench clamp. I had a really hard time with the countersink. When I tried boring it in the drill press, I kept getting chatter. I eventually got them to look good once I resorted to using my hand drill. Once all the pieces were made, it was time to start welding. I quickly realized that my small welding table was not going to be of much use in this build, so I temporarily used the long joist to aid me in welding the two bench ends. I did not want any twist in these ends, so I used my laser level to make sure the joists were parallel. Then, when I clamped the legs and cross members to them, I knew I would weld them up without any twist to them. Once the bench ends were made, I bolted the quarter inch plates to them. It was now time to weld the long joists. I started this by first setting the bench ends apart. I then meticulously leveled the tops relative to each other while making sure all the legs were plumb at the same time making sure they were the correct distance from each other. This part was a little time consuming, but it ensured that the joists being welded would hold the bench level and plumb later. As I welded, I first went around and tacked everything. This helps the joists from warping uh, from the heat of welding. I then made the feet for the bench. I'm not sure who originally came up with this idea, but I got it from Frank Howarth uh, to use hockey pucks. They are made of fairly stiff rubber and are not too difficult to machine. I ran half inch carriage bolts through them. These would allow me to level the bench wherever it ends up. At this point, I took the bench apart and added plates at the bottom of the legs for feet to thread into. Once I finished welding these, I tapped all the holes for the feet. At this point, the bench is pretty much done, and it was now time for paint. This meant a trip to Dunn Edwards. The colors I choose to paint my tools and projects are usually arbitrary. I just pick a color that feels right for that project, although this is my second green workbench. I wiped everything down with paint thinner, then sprayed all the parts outside. The oil-based paint works great on steel, but it does take a while to dry. After it dried, it was time for final assembly. The bench top is 3 quarter inch uh, pine plywood. Secure this from the bottom with 3 quarter inch screws. Then I pulled out the laser again and leveled the bench. This help keeps the top perfectly flat. I then cut the 10 foot 3 quarter inch gas pipe and I attached the bar clamps. And now, the main work surface of the Ultimate Workbench is complete. So what makes this the Ultimate Workbench? It's pretty much just a table with a clamp. Well, the bench is not complete.
The plan is to make modular units on casters. These will essentially become cabinets for the workbench. But since they are modular, I can make each one custom. Some with just drawers, or just a cabinet. Make one specifically for the pant router. The nice thing about this is that I could roll the individual unit to wherever I need, or move them all when it's time to do a thorough cleanup of the shop. But does that make it the ultimate workbench? No. In reality, there is no such thing. If you go on YouTube and type ultimate workbench, you get quite a list of different dream benches. The truth is, no one style is going to be best for everyone. When I lived at home, I built what I thought was the ultimate workbench. It also had a metal frame, it had cabinets and drawers. I made a mechanism that would lift it up on the casters with an electric linear actuator. Once it was filled, it was quite heavy though. Even on the wheels, it took a lot of force to move it. And when I moved out, I had no way to transport it. At the time, I was really into carbon fiber and fiberglass molds, so it even had a place on the side to store the long rolls. That's why I really like the idea for this bench. The cabinets are modular and you can take the bench apart. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. In my next video, we'll make the modular cabinets.